Inspiration for Teachers podcast, bringing you dynamic and inspirational educator interviews. Our fascinating guests share their professional challenges and creative resolutions for success. Discover their workable strategies, ideas, and resources to reach your educational goals. And now your host, Kelly Long. Welcome to another episode of Inspiration for Teachers. I'm your host, Kelly Long, and I have an episode of The Practical Kind lined up for you today. If you are new to the show, I usually have the honour of interviewing a leading educationalist. Together we discuss a specific educational challenge that my guests has encountered and some of the solutions they have developed in order to add ideas to some of the challenges you may be struggling with at present. Once you've listened to this episode, please search back through the awesome catalogue of episodes on iTunes, YouTube, Stitcher Radio or via the website at Inspiration for Teachers to subscribe and receive our free interviews. You'll find a richness of content that is bursting with knowledge ideas, practical solutions and challenges that you may not have encountered yet but will give you the tools you need to be prepared for when you do. Today's episode is about cross-curricular content, snatching inspiration from other subjects. In this podcast workshop you'll discover how to develop your planning to include cross-curricular learning pathways that are differentiated, challenging, fun and full of potential problems to be solved. But first let's start by discussing why cross-curricular integration is so important. It's easy to teach our subjects in a silo because we have a specification of curriculum content that we need to deliver to our learners. We're all squeezed by the pressures of time, leaving us with little development opportunities. And before you know it, you're years down the line and you've been teaching the same content and in the same manner. I don't know about you, but that gets dry and boring and suddenly you reach a point where you become stagnant, no longer taking risks or becoming developmental in your teaching practice. Now that's not a criticism. I'm a teacher too. I'm there with you every day sharing the joy, frustration, exhaustion and glimmers of sparks when students finally get it. But making a transformational shift in your teaching to explore how your subject curriculum content can be delivered through other subjects I have found to be much more exciting. Interesting for me to plan, develop and create but also a little bit magical when using other subjects to teach my own and that is business and ICT. Collaboration is necessary to help students to form connections between pillars of knowledge and skills. But also if we want to drive the creativity that exists in all of our learners, we have to help them to experience those cross-curricular learning opportunities. We want them to be able to transfer knowledge between different contexts. So where has cross-curricular teaching gone wrong in the past? In my opinion, we haven't kept it simple. We've overburdened the cross-curricular collaboration by turning it into a big one-off learning event or by learning our specifications to cover specific content at a specific time. But I'm not convinced that has any real long-term benefit to the learner or has generated mass buying from staff. The cross-curricular delivery I'm referring to is conceptual collaboration, which sounds a bit more wishy-washy than it actually is. Conceptual collaboration is how I have been teaching my lessons over the past two to three years, at first without realising it, but now I definitely know what I'm doing and it's created a new edge to my teaching practice. I've also discovered that my learners appear to be enjoying it more, unless they have become really good drama students. So what is conceptual collaboration? It is where a teacher must dive into some really deep waters of conceptual understanding in different content areas. So in other words, you must know subjects to a high level and be able to talk about them and teach them both conceptually. The great thing about this is that you can introduce cross-curricular content without seeking permission to do so, and without having to organise a big event where all departments come together to host a cross-curricular programme. Conceptual collaboration allows you to help students to think deeply about a range of subjects or topics, and not just part of a one-off lesson, but over a period of time where they can develop deeper learning. The really great thing about this method of teaching is that the learner will take autonomy over the learning. They'll be able to explore ideas and concepts from different knowledge spheres and bring them together. So how did I do it? The same way in which you develop ideas for your lessons. I picked a focus, an interesting topic from another subject, something topical, current, or bringing something back to life from the past, but bringing it into my own subject area. I approach this process in a number of different ways and I think the best way to begin is by providing you with an example of my teaching and how I did it. I created a suite of lessons that focused on different cross-curricular strands. I was attempting to teach business ethics but in a manner which the learners had to create a product using innovative ideas taken from the cutting edge of science and technological innovation. The options that I provided to learners were a choice of videos, mainly TED Talks, where new discoveries had been made. 
In particular, one of the videos focused on a robotic bird that could fly exactly like a bird. Perhaps you've seen it. The great thing about this is that I developed streams of learning that the learners could select which one they wanted to follow. I also gave them the option of pursuing their own scientific or technological encounter as the basis for their learning, so that the learning pathways they selected were differentiated by topic, subject focused, interest, difficulty, and working towards all of those differentiated options that we have to consider. The parameters I associated with the task was whichever learning pathway or stream that they wanted to follow, they had to develop ideas for a product that could be taken from that technological or scientific innovation and introduced as a product into a commercial market. Inevitably, they watched all three learning pathways that I had prepared for them, but then they made a choice and began to develop ideas of innovation. Once they had developed their new idea for a product and which market they were going to pitch it to, we began to discuss the ethical implications associated with the product they had created and what ethical implications were associated with individual stakeholders. By providing the cross-curricular options of science and technology, as a group we were able to bring the discussion full circle back to the original scientific or technological concept they had experienced so that we could have a much wider discussion about business ethics across the different curricular pathways they'd encountered. The key to this process is that I essentially bulked on my subject content into two different subject areas of the sciences and technology. It not only allowed learners to select which learning pathway they wanted to follow, it provided them with new experiences. It showed them how my subject links across all areas of business, science, technology and beyond so they could value why they were learning business as a core subject, but also it allowed them to start developing links across the curriculum. Now I'm sure this idea is not new, but the great thing about it is that you can have enormous fun with it. And I can hear the doubts in your mind about teaching cross-curricular subjects effectively. You know, you have to have a good understanding in more than one subject area. And yes, if I had to teach business with a language, I would probably struggle because I don't speak any languages. But I would see it as a creative opportunity to explore how I could do it. Now if that meant inviting a colleague into my lesson as a guest speaker, or using learners themselves to teach me aspects of the language, or if I had to use technology to assist in the process like Google Translator, or a translation dictionary, it's all part of the learning, and it's all figureoutable. You just need to pre-plan what potential tools you might need. You can also extend your cross-curricular conversation beyond your classroom rules by turning it into a talking point with parents. So you can use things like a learning journal of what they discovered today, getting students to set up a blog or tweet about their discoveries, or setting them the challenge of when they see cross-curricular integration in the worlds in which they inhabit. It's all possible and you can have lots of fun with it. It's just beginning to develop those ideas. This has been a quick snippet of how I did it. And obviously I haven't been able to break down all of the components that form this series of lessons. We would be here for a week. But the main message is that you can have some fun with it take some risks and explore cross-curricular opportunities with your learners. You'll soon find that they'll be bringing the conversation to you and doing some surprising discoveries of their own. If you're already teaching cross-curricular lessons, if you're further ahead than I, please tweet me at Inspiration for Tea or drop me an email. And if you'd like to know more about cross-curricular implementation, head over to the website at inspirationforteachers.com and register your interest. Thanks again for joining me on another episode of Inspiration for Teachers. Don't forget to explore our amazing educator interviews and I look forward to you joining me on the next episode. Thank you for joining us today on Inspiration for Teachers. For more resources, tips and advice, visit our website, inspirationforteachers.com. If you enjoyed today's episode, we would love to connect with you. Just click like on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash inspirationforteachers. 